Hi guys, welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get your base to stay in place all day. So I'm going to show you kind of like my foundation routine when I want my makeup to last a really, really, really long time. So anyway, before we begin, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and click subscribe and hit the bell button so you guys are notified every time we upload new videos and let's just get straight into it. So my first tip is to always moisturize your face. So just use your usual moisturizer. It doesn't matter if you have dry or oily skin, you have to moisturize your face. I am like a combo oily person. I I guess. So I know a lot of oily people think that they shouldn't moisturize because they have oily skin. I used to think that, but if you do moisturize your skin, your skin will actually get less oily because your skin gets oily because it's trying to like compensate. So basically your skin is trying to moisturize itself because you're not moisturizing. So every time I moisturize, I feel like it does make my foundation go on a lot nicer and my face doesn't get as oily. So I have already applied my moisturizer. Next, I'm going to go in with my Super Stay primer. I really like this one. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. My skin isn't that great at the moment, but I don't think you guys can tell because like the lighting is just so good in this room. That's like the only good thing about having so many lights. It kind of blows out everything. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is use another primer. This isn't necessary, but I feel like it definitely makes my makeup look a lot smoother on the face. I do have quite large pores, so I like to use the Master Prime Pore Minimizing Primer. So this one is quite a thick primer and I focus this like around the nose and t-zone area i've got the largest pores around here this isn't necessarily going to make your makeup i guess last longer but it is going to make it look nicer and smoother okay so now that i have applied that to the face i'm going to let it sink in for a few minutes before i go in with my foundation otherwise my foundation just kind of slips and slides everywhere so for foundation i have the superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I'm not sure what color to use because I've got that tiny bit of fake tan on. I think soft beige looks all right. Um, if it is a bit dark, I might use a bit of true ivory. And I'm going to apply my foundation with kind of like a stippling foundation brush. You don't have to use a brush. You can use your fingers or you can use a sponge, whatever you prefer. Okay, so for my concealer today, I'm going to use my Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm also putting this on top of my eyes just to get rid of darkness. I'm going to put some on my chin. I'm just going to blend all that concealer out now with a sponge. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take the Master Fix Baking and Brightening Loose Powder. This one's in that yellow shade. So I've got some powder in the cap and I'm going to put my sponge in it and I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. This will highlight like underneath, but it'll also make um, my under eyes last a really long time. So if you do have dry skin, you might not like this method. I would just suggest maybe dusting it underneath with a brush and not baking and maybe use like the Maybelline Fit Me concealer instead of um, the Age Rewind because that is a drier formula. I like it because I've got oily skin, so I feel like it really stays on there. But if you want something a little less dry, I would highly recommend maybe the Maybelline Fit Me or the, the Master Conceal. Those two are really nice. I'm going to put some around here where I crease. And I'll put some on my forehead too because I crease up here. I'm going to look crazy. I'm going to take a little bit like of that same powder and just dust it around here. And now I'm going to dust off all the bake. I don't like to leave it too long. The longer you leave it, the drier it gets pretty much. Okay, so we've got our perfect blank canvas now and everything is set down. I am going to go off and do like a little bit of eye makeup. I'll put some blush and bronzer on and then I'll come back and I'll show you the last step I do to make sure 
this all stays in place all day. Okay, so I'm back and before I do my last step, I will tell you what's on my lips because I know people are going to ask. So I used the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. This one's in the color Dusty Rose. And I also did use one of the new Vivid Hot Lacquers. This one's in the color Unreal. This is one of my favorites. I really like that you can either build it up to a really, really glossy lip or just kind of put a little bit on and it's just not as glossy. It's just kind of like a nice sheen. Okay, so we're going to move on to the last step I like to take when I've finished my makeup. I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. So I'm going to spray my face with this. I'll give it a little shake. So I just like to let this dry down. I don't think my hands are doing that much, but pretty much that's it. That's all for my um, base routine when I want it to stay on for a really, really long time. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up for me. Comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell button, like I said before, so you guys are updated every time we upload new videos here. And hopefully I'll see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.